Okay, let's look at some biomechanical principles on how we're going to analyze movement. First thing you want to do is figure out the purpose of the movement that you're analyzing. Is it maximal or a submaximal task? And so some examples could be um, you're trying to maximize horizontal speed to win a race, maximize jump height to throw a ball fast, etc. So then you can also ask are you looking at a whole body perspective or a specific joint or segments perspective? But instead of going joint by joint, I wanted to introduce you guys to some other ways to analyze movement, and that's by looking at the movement and trying to figure out if it has one of the six fundamental patterns of movement. And the first pattern of movement is the squat or the lift. So is there some sort of squat during the movement? So not to say you're doing a squat, but does the squat occur during the movement? And remember a squat as in the picture below, right? So um, think about that when you're looking at your movements. The second movement pattern is a lunge. So a forward lunge, backward lunge. Remember you could lunge to the side or side. And this can occur in, in um, karate mo movements um, and many other movements. So you're looking at the movement pattern and figuring out if there's a lunge as part of it. Um, a baseball pitch has a lunge involved in it. To name one. Is there a twist? So here we see a golf swing, twist, um, there's also a twist in the throwing or pitching motion, and so that's a way to analyze that movement. Push-pull, are you pushing a ball? So a, a chest pass in basketball or the front linemen, their whole objective of their position is to push. Um, pulling, you can think of strongman competition, um, but you can also look for other areas. Is there a gait, carrying, running, walking, right, throughout this, uh, this movement pattern? Rock climbing has some um, almost crawling patterns in it, uh, and then many activities have running, walking, carrying. And then finally, is there a part of that movement where you have to maintain balance. So you're off balance and still trying to accomplish your task. So here we have um, a basketball pass and um, a cricket player going off balance. So this, these are just six patterns that you can look at and analyze movement that give you a, a different perspective of just defining the joint movements in each plane and for each joint.